If there's one lesson that all School of Xbox students should learn, it's that an open relationship can work and is ultimately massively rewarding. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not talking about your love life. My wife would kill me for one thing, but rather your network route is relationship with your internet connection. Well, let me put it another way. If you've ever had issues joining a friend's party or entering a private lobby in a multiplayer game, then it may be that your router's NAT setting isn't open, and that, frankly, is a bad thing. My router's what settings, you're probably saying, and I really don't blame you. NAT stands for Network Address Translation, and its basic purpose is to help your router manage all the devices in your home that are connected to a single internet connection. For fear of confusing you further, and because even I don't completely fully understand it, I'll just say that all you really need to know is that your NAT settings should be set to open. To check the current status of your NAT settings, head to System Settings, choose Network Settings, and then select Test Xbox Live Connection. If you're told that your NAT is set to moderate, it means you can only connect with players who have open or moderate NAT settings. If it's set to strict, you can only connect with players who have open settings. In both instances, you'll receive an error message after the connection test is complete. The important thing to know is that your NAT settings aren't controlled by your Xbox 360, so you'll have to change the router settings via your home computer. Rather, it's your router settings that you'll need to change. Now, there are dozens of different routers out there from different manufacturers, but I do have two suggestions. First, if your router offers a universal plug and play option, commonly called UPnP, make sure that's enabled. Secondly, you can always connect your Xbox 360 directly to your broadband modem with an Ethernet cable, thereby bypassing the router altogether. If neither of those are an option, be sure to read your router's manual before attempting to configure the NAT settings yourself. It's also a great idea to visit xbox.com slash network help for more useful guides and suggestions. Okay, well, I hope that's cleared up some of the confusion regarding NAT settings and helps you on the road to a trouble-free live experience with your friends. Now, if you're in the dark about any other Xbox 360, Connect, or Xbox Live features, investigate the School of Xbox archive for previous shows. If that doesn't provide any illumination, drop us a line at schoolofxbox at live.co.uk and we'll try to help you out in a future episode. Talking of which, Snappy Nevada recently got in touch to ask us if it's possible to delete any achievements he has earned, to which my quick answer is no. It's only possible to remove a game from your achievement list if you haven't yet earned any gamer score for it. Sorry, Snappy. That's all for this lesson. Thanks for watching Inside Xbox.